Christmas song played in space. Santa has a real postal zip code. Wow! Hello, I am Min Kang. Welcome to Ken Knows a Home of Knowledge. It's December. This is the month of joy, celebrations, and being merry, and of course, Christmas, the most widely celebrated festival across the world, falls in December. It's also the topic for today. Chào cả nhà, nhân dịp Giáng sinh sắp tới thì Khang chúc tất cả mọi người một Giáng sinh vui vẻ, ấm cúng và đầy hạnh phúc. Để Khang đặc biệt chúc các bạn nhỏ một Giáng sinh mà sẽ được rất nhiều món quà bất ngờ từ ông già Noel. Và Khang cũng rất là cảm ơn mọi người đã theo dõi Khang trên kênh của Khang nữa. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! Number one. Christmas is a Christian holiday that celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ. The word Christmas came from the Old English, which was a contraction of Christ's mass. The first recorded use of the word Christmas was in 1038, when a book from Anglo-Saxon England used the word Christmas in it. In addition to Christmas, the holiday has been known by various other names throughout its history, like Noel or Saint Nicholas's Day. Kang is not religious, but Kang really likes what Christmas signifies. How's about you? Number two, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Jingle bells was the first Christmas song played in space. It's hard to imagine what you want to rock at if you ever to float among the stars. But a crew of NASA's Gemini 6A space flight got into the Christmas spirit and made history when they played Jingle Bells on December 16, 1965, earning the Jolly Jingle Enthusiast World Record for being the first Christmas song ever played in space. Well, as far as we know at least, Number 3. Candy canes originated in Germany. The National Confectioners Association say a choir master originally gave the red and white striped candies to young children to keep them quiet during marathon church services. Grandmas who still sneak the kids' sweets during droning sermons, history is on your side. It wasn't until a German-Swedish immigrant decorated his tree with candy canes in 1847 that they became popular as a Christmas candy. Number 4. Have you ever wondered why we hang up stockings, which are basically fancy socks? during the holiday season, only to wake up on Christmas morning to find them filled with tiny gifts. According to the Smithsonian, one of the most popular legends about the tradition's origins is the tale of a poor widower who worried he wouldn't be able to marry off his three daughters because of his lack of wealth. Fortunately, they also said St. Nicholas was wandering through the town where the man lived and heard villagers discussing that family's plight. He wanted to help but knew the man would refuse any kind of charity directly. Instead, one night, he slid down the chimney of the family's house and filled the girl's recently laundered stockings, which happened to be drying by the fire, with gold coins, and then he disappeared. In the morning, the family found the gifts, and the daughters became eligible to wed. It was a Christmas miracle. Number 5. Thomas Edison and his business partner invented Christmas lights. Thomas Edison has gone down in history as one of America's greatest inventors. We can thank him for the light bulb, 
chronograph, and even the movie camera. But did you know that he is also highly responsible, along with his friend Edward H. Johnson, for inventing Christmas lights? According to the Library of Congress, Edison created the first strand of electric lights in 1880, which he hung outside his laboratory in Menlo Park, New Jersey, during Christmas time that year. However, it was Johnson, his partner at the Edison Illumination Company, who, in 1882, became the first to wrap a strand of hand-wired red, white, and blue bulbs around a Christmas tree, and the rest, as they say, is history. Number six. Every snowflake has approximately 200 snow crystals. A snowflake has six sides and falls at a speed from three to four miles per hour. But a snowflake isn't actually a snowflake. It is rather a group of stuck snow crystals. Also, the smaller, hard-to-see snowflakes are diamonds. Just joking, it's diamond dust. Number seven. Santa has a real postal zip code. Do you know it? Wow. Every year, millions of letters are addressed to Santa from kids from all over the world, including me. But they don't know where to send it. So, since 1982, H zero H zero H zero, an obvious parody of Ho Ho Ho. As when the post goes for letters to Santa Claus in Canada, but Santa will also receive letters to S A N T A one from U K, nine 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 from Australia, and eight 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 eight. The postal workers at the Canadian post office also started answering some of these letters. So lovely. Reindeers does Santa have? We all know that Santa Claus will dash across the snow in a sledge pulled by reindeer. But do you know how many reindeer are there? And their names? There are nine reindeer, and their names are Dasher, Blitzen, Dancer, Prancer, Thunder, Vixen, Comet. Cupid and the most famous Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. Number nine, gingerbread man. Gingerbread dates from the 15th century, and figure of biscuit making was practiced in the 16th century. The first documented instance of figure-shaped gingerbread biscuits was at the court. Of Elizabeth the First of England, she had the gingerbread figures made and presented in the likeness of some of her important guests. Number ten. Why do we eat turkeys on Christmas Day? Turkeys were first brought into Britain in 1526, and before this time, for Christmas meals. People use the geese or boar's head and even peacocks. Turkeys were eaten instead of cows and chickens because the farmers needed the cows more for their milk and needed their chickens for the eggs, which back then were more expensive than they are now. So instead of killing off one of their livestock for Christmas, they'd have a turkey as it was something different, and they could save that to produce more milk and eggs. King Henry VIII was the first person to eat a turkey on Christmas Day. However, it wasn't until the 1950s that the turkey was a more popular Christmas meal choice than the goose. The good thing about Christmas Day and turkeys is that Christmas is a family time, and turkeys are family size. That's all for today's not sharing. It's time for Christmas. Can wish everybody a very happy holiday and merry.
Merry Christmas. See you in the next episode on Kang Knows. Bye.